This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelwabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Green Lantern. Now take a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard previews tin with the Green Lantern emblem at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. So this guy is totally awesome, and I am super stoked to add him to the collection. I am a giant Green Lantern fan, and I absolutely love Hal Jordan, and I am so stoked to check him out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the actual figure, I want to run down his accessories. So Hal does come with a good amount of accessories. Starting off, we get two interchangeable head sculpts, a lantern, 12 interchangeable hands, some coming with effects, a pair of batteries, and a Green Lantern chest plate. And lastly, he also comes with a circular base stand with the Green Lantern logo printed atop. He also comes with a clear, articulated arm that articulates at four points with a clip. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at the previews exclusive Green Lantern. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Hal Jordan here. And man, this is one of those figures from Mezco. I'm like, oh my god, I need that in my collection. I finally have it, and in my opinion, he's incredible. And I'm already going to say this off the bat, you guys need to pick this guy up because he's freaking dope. So anyways, uh, the suit, everything looks great. You know, I not, know not everyone was a fan of the Green Lantern suit for Jon Stewart, uh, but me personally, I loved it, and this one for Hal Jordan looks just as cool in my opinion. Uh, the sculpting of the chest logo looks really cool. I'm not really sure why we got a second chest logo. Um, I'm assuming maybe for customs or in case that one falls off. I'm not really sure. Uh, same thing came with Jon Stewart. So, I mean, I guess it's cool we get extra stuff. So, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, but all of this looks really nice. The gloves look really good. The back of the suit all looks nice too. The boots look fantastic. Uh, done in white when normally his boots are more traditionally green. Uh, so I guess just to match up with the gloves, I'm not sure, but that is what we get now, but those look cool too. Now I'll bring in Jon Stewart real quick. Uh, we can see the similarities in the suit and in like the printing, like you see the lining up here, same thing going on up there. Uh, certain things are similar, but there's a lot of differences in the suits, which is cool, so it makes them look unique at the same time very different. But if you look at the gloves, we get the exact same gloves. Uh, just painted in white this time get my camera to focus up a bit so you can see their exact same thing uh, But I will note uh, these extend uh, longer uh, So what that is that's not actually sculpted that's actually printing on the fabric like how this all green piece is and things like that They printed on the fabric itself to extend the gloves so that's not part of the sculpt you can see in there uh, they're the exact same thing. They just print it on there to make it look like they had longer gloves. So that's pretty cool. Uh, same thing with the boots. The boots are the exact same thing as uh, John Stewart there, which is done in white and no green trim on the inside. But still having these side by side, man, I really hope we get more uh, characters. It would be really cool to get a Mezco Green Lantern, just a generic Green Lantern with like three different alien head sculpts so that we could just army build and make whatever alien Green Lantern you want. I think that would be super dope. Maybe it's like a Mezco exclusive or something. I don't know. But hopefully we get more Green Lantern figures because I want an entire core of these because these two figures, especially Hal Jordan, man, so freaking awesome. Okay, now let's talk his accessories. Uh, so we do get the stand. Uh, what I do love about the stand, the stand itself is almost like a construct. So you can see it's actually a clear green. I think that's pretty cool. So it almost acts like a construct itself. So I absolutely love that. 
So really, really cool. Uh, of course, we get the articulated arm. We all get, get all kinds of interchangeable hands, gripping hands, close fisted hands. Uh, we even got like flight posing hands with his fingers extended. Those are really cool. But what I do like uh, is that we get so many other hands with like built-in effect pieces. So you get like, this one shooting a laser blast, which is really cool. Now all of these have hands attached to them. Uh, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna actually just plug those on like you would a normal uh, interchangeable hand and plug those on and those all work out great. So you have that one right there. You have this one, it's like a dome piece. It's more like a shield. Uh, that's really cool. You see the hand is uh, connected to that, but that looks really good too. Uh, we have this little one with a little Green Lantern flare coming off the ring. I love posing it with that particular hand. I just think it looks really cool for a pretty basic pose. And it really, really sets it off and I like that a lot. Uh, another one I really love is this like Starburst one. This is one something you would see like straight up from the comic books. I think that's so cool, dude. I absolutely love this effect. Uh, this is probably the effect I will be posing them on my shelf with just because I think that looks so rad and I love that. But be careful, these are uh, prickly uh, and this does feel like a fairly brittle plastic so that could break. Just be careful with what you're doing here and you'll be fine. Uh, we also do get this like fireball. Uh, but with this, what this is, uh, this actually has no hand attached to it, but you do see a hole in there. That is because you're actually gonna peg that directly to that wrist peg and now like he looks like he's doing a flaming green lantern punch like a the tiger uppercut was a shuriken or whatever that was what was that from street fighter I totally can't remember right now but still that's super cool too uh we also do get interchangeable heads so we do get the standard head there which looks good i love the hair sculpt the mask and everything about the jawline all that looks fantastic uh then we do get a more angry head with the yelling the open mouth, the teeth, the tongue, all the paint looks fantastic. I love the way both these head sculpts turned out. A simple ball peg that you've seen them many, many times before. Uh, they interchange beautifully. I mean, that is like butter, man. I love that so freaking much here. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, let's get another hand on here. So I'm going to get this like open fingered, flare fingered out a little bit hand like that. Now it's cool. You can see how the Green Lantern ring is sculpted on each one of those interchangeable hands. You can see that pretty good, so that works out nicely. Uh, the last accessory that we do get, I'm pretty sure I covered everything else here. Uh, the last accessory we do get is going to be his actual green lantern. Now this is the same one that we got with Jon Stewart. So I can bring that one in here, and you can see that it's exactly the same thing. You know, no real differences at all. Uh, paint, colors, everything, it looks exactly the same. Uh, so this works really cool too. You can hold this in his gripping hand, but what's cool, this has an LED feature. Unscrew that, put the little batteries in that it comes with, and you can light that up here. But what you gotta do, and I should have put the other hand in, so let me find that closed fist in the hand like so, and you can put that on there. Now if you touch the lantern to the actual, you can see that. If you touch the lantern to the actual ring, let me see, am I doing this right? Uh, there you go. So you can see the light glowing like that. How cool is that, dude? And I love how that's how it's activated. And if we turn on some lights, you can see how really good that glows. And man, that is impressive. And that's just one of those things that I think Mezco totally shines on one of their accessories. I mean, they go all out for the most part with a lot of their figures. I know some can be a miss, but still, man, I love this so much, dude. I really, really want more Green Lanterns because I want a whole core of Mezco Green Lanterns. So come on, Mezco, give it to us. I want a ton more of these guys. Okay, so let's run down his articulation now. So the head is on a ball joint, rolls around very, very nicely, does turn left and right, up fairly far, down about that much, and pivot side to side. Uh, he has a collar on here, but it's soft good, so it doesn't really hinder articulation at all. Our arms go all the way up that far, down, up and out that far. Uh, they're kind of, let me see, no, it almost feels like a little bit of a butterfly joint in there, but I'm pretty sure that's just the ball peg of the uh, shoulder right there. We get rotation at the bicep, we got double double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a double ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls around very, very nicely. Does turn left and right, pivot side to side, and crunches back and forth. That is butter, man. It feels so good. The articulation of this whole figure feels so smooth. Uh, so we got hip joints that kick forward that far, back not so much, splits about that far, rotation in the upper thigh, we got double, double jointed knees, almost kicks himself in his own butt, 
Uh, nothing at the boot, but we got ball joints at the ankles. And man, these are smooth. Rotate up and down and a very good ankle rocker. So these are some of the best ankles on any Mezco figure. Same thing with the John Stewart. I think it's just the design. You, gotta, you get a lot of clearance and things like that. So that really, really helps. So overall, man, am I so happy with this. This guy is super rad. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, in some areas he is allocated, so that means uh, production numbers might be a little smaller, but I think he's worth picking up. It's a little weird that they made Hal Jordan as a PX exclusive. That's odd to me. He should have just been a regular release, but either way, he's incredible, and I love him so much. And in my opinion, he is absolutely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. And for your Mezco comparison, here he is standing next to the 112 Collective Green Lantern John Stewart. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the NECA Hal Jordan. And just for fun, here he is standing next to little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Now overall I think this guy's freaking incredible. I absolutely love Green Lantern and I absolutely love Mezco. And in my opinion Mezco completely killed it with this action figure. Now the face sculpts are incredible to me. I love the bodysuit. His articulation and joints are oh so smooth. And all those awesome effect pieces and accessories are just super well done. If I really did have a complaint or a minor nitpick, it would be that I wish he would came with maybe some different effects instead of the same thing that we got with Jon Stewart. But still, he is a killer action figure and in my opinion one of the best Mezco has put out this year so far. So I think you should definitely pick him up and he will be great on your Mezco shelf. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.